All right. I know I said I was done. I just couldn't leave it like that. Just in the morning at the table. I couldn't. It's a beautiful day. So I'm going to show you. I'm only going to be on here for a minute. I keep saying that. I'm only going to show you. Uh, be out here for a few minutes. But I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Because hearing what I'm talking about and seeing what I'm talking about. Let me get out of the sun. There's two entirely different things. Hearing it. You just don't, you just can't get it. A lot of people really don't care about the chickens, but maybe you, maybe you will if I show you, okay? So, I'm not going to be doing, answering no questions real quick. I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. All right, number one, this is a temporary run. I bought a dog kennel off of, uh, online, you know, used, because this was supposed to be temporary. But this is what I'm talking about. This is... Let's see, I'm 5'9", so this is, this is like, you know, as tall as me. You don't need it to be this tall. See all the roofs I got in here? That's just so they have something to do in this little bit of space. You don't need it to be this tall. All I need is to be is four feet so I can get in here with them. Now, there was an egg down there on the ground, which I was able to just open the door, go in, and pull that old egg out of there and get rid of it okay that kind of stuff is important now i'm gonna show you as far as the coop let me back up so you guys can get a a good look at the coop the coop is six by four it's six feet long which i wanted to make it bigger it's only six feet long and it's four foot tall and it's four feet wide and the reason i did the four feet is because lumber lumber costs you cut a two by four and a half you got four you got double the wood okay so i made that four by four that you could do that with just two boards so i done that the six foot that's something completely different good morning raising and discipline i'm sorry my videos earlier was a little we ain't gonna get into that now this is what I was talking about. I'm going to show you a big mistake I made, all right? My big mistake, check this out. Okay, this is a big mistake. You see this space that I made under here? I made this space under here and, and gated it up for them to have somewhere to come out, get away from the sun, and all of that, all right? That's all cute and but here's the problem. Let me get a close-up for you. Here's the problem. When you have a problem under here, and it's been times where they start laying eggs under here, make a nest under here, you got a big problem. And the reason, let me back up a little so you can see it better. Here's the problem. How you gonna get the egg out of there? You can't get the egg out of there. So, I got an access door on the other end because my project was supposed to be something completely different is covered up by these bricks that's an access door that i made for me to be able to get in there and reach in there but here's the problem how the hell am i gonna get access with a one foot door one by one and they lay eggs over in this corner even a rake ain't gonna reach that far right don't do that so what i plan on doing is completely raising this whole thing up or totally getting rid of this mesh altogether. It's only going to be mesh on this side to block them off. All right. Don't give them space under the house that's just that big where you can't reach. That is going to be problems in the future. Don't do that. Number two. Here's the roofing that I was talking about. Instead of me having to run a bunch of plywood up there, run a bunch of shingles that's going to cost me a fortune, Look, all I did was throw, uh, I had two sheets of um, tin roofing, two uh, eight-foot sheets. So all I did was cut them in half, cut them in half and lay them on there. So that's how simple that was. And I put a, a, a peak piece on the top. No rain, nothing. That's it. Simple. And I never got even done with tacking them down. You can see 
the screws that I put them down with, I just tacked them down for the moment. Never got done with it, but it's still holding strong. Okay, number three, access door. Remember what I told y'all about you want your access door. If you can't get in there, you shouldn't want your birds in there. So this is number one. You want something where you can get in and you can get out. So I'm going to get in here with y'all and show you. Close the door behind me. Okay. Now y'all seeing everything. I'm in here. Let me back it up. Okay. I'm in here in my own chicken coop with them. Look, y'all, y'all on camera. This is what I'm talking about because things happen in here and you need to be able to handle it. If you got some little dial house box, you really want to be on camera, huh? If you in some little dial house box, you can't reach in there and handle the problems you need to handle. You need to make it so you can get inside of it. If you can't get inside of it, it's, it's not going to work. I don't have any food. They're looking at me like I'm the dinner. So you want to make sure you have enough space. See, see this? What I was talking about earlier in that other video, okay? They have enough space to roost on these poles at night. More than enough space for them. But they also have enough room in here to come hang out, get out of the sunlight when it's too hot, get out of the rain when it's, you know, it's wet and it's soaking outside like the storm. They were in here. They didn't come out. Okay. And all I do for the bedding, don't go spending all that money on the, on the bedding. Every time you cut your grass, stop bagging it up and throwing it out to the garbage man, giving him more work to do. Put that in your nest and put it in your coop and put it in your here. I can show you. Put it in your coop and put it in your uh, chicken run. Free, free bedding. There you go. And put it in your, where they lay the eggs, put it in the nesting, nesting boxes. See that? That's all that is, is grass. Stop wasting your money on stupid stuff. You want to do this and you want to make a chicken coop, you want to start chickens and you want to do it cost effectively because you got to think about it. You're raising chickens. Okay, this is fun, and that's what it should be, fun. Now, all of this stuff, all the way I built this, I am not a carpenter. I built a lot of things, but I'm not a carpenter. That's why I made it simple. I built it simple, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you everything how i done this. I'm going to do this in a couple of different parts. Matter of fact, it might even go on all winter, but I'm going to redo this for you guys. Because I do plan on getting more chickens. So, uh, now, that hole down at the bottom, see, I was trying to be too cute, too difficult. Even Lady Liz said, you're doing too much. That hole down there, that's so they can walk down the little, they can either go out that door and go outside, or they can walk down this little piece here and be under that piece that I can't reach. It's cool, but it's stupid. So I was just doing too much, you know, wasting money, wasting time and resources. So as far as your water, this is what you need to do. Don't go buying that watering thing that they tell you about. All of that, you, it's going to make a mess. See my roof? I never nailed this down. Scoot you over a little bit, buddy. Um, don't go messing paying all that money for that little water jug thing container this is what you do get you a get you a five gallon bucket i'm going to show you how to do all of this you glue you a um, pvc pipe in there and then let me it's better this way if i do it this way you're going to glue your pvc pipe in that five gallon bucket you're going to run it however you got your uh coop set up you're going to run it so all they do, and you hook it up in these sippy cups. Let me get a zoom in. See that filling up? So every time they pack that, it fills with water. So it's less mess, less poop, less crap that they have to deal with and everything else. Right, ladies? That's less garbage. And here's the thing. You don't have to keep worrying about them 
whether they got enough water, did they get a drink today or not? They're always going to have water on hand. And that's one thing, even if you can't feed them every five seconds, they need that water. Okay? They need that. So especially down here hot in the South Carolinas, in all the Carolinas, roasting down here, they need their water. Look how simple that is. They, they acting, for, oh, you see y'all saw the pecking order. The white chicken, she the boss. Even though she's about to end up dinner, she don't even know. But anyway, look, now, like I show you, this is what I do. I come out and fill this bucket up. I keep a lid on it so I keep the water clean. Clean water in there for them all times. Okay? All I got to do is fill this bucket up with five gallons of water. And depending on the, in the summertime, this will last me maybe a week and a half, two weeks. And in the winter, the cooler months, they don't drink as much water. I don't ever have to worry about this. And I can see right through the bucket where the water is and everything. You don't have to keep coming out here, cleaning their water, making sure they're okay. Making sure they're water. Okay? Simple. You don't have to buy all of that crap. Somebody just bit my toe because <laughs> I got on my I got on my yard dogs today. My, my pinky toe hanging out. <laughs> she bit me on my toe. You saw that in that shoe, freak. So, okay, that's number. <laughs> that was number two. I'm a, I'm gonna answer your question in a second, Lababs. Hold on. Uh, okay, and here's the feeder. Okay, I built a box that holds about five gallons of feed if you need be what you see down here is the oyster shell that i put in to give them a healthy shell a supplement like a vitamin supplement but i built this box and i put it on the door so i come in here put the feed in when i want to and i don't have to keep coming out here worrying about if i got them locked in for the week or i'm on vacation I fill this thing up and they eat right out of here and that'll last them two weeks. Okay? So you don't have to worry about that either. So, this is what I'm talking about, you guys. You don't have to, uh, if you're thinking about starting a chicken coop, it's not as hard as it as they make it sound on um, some of these videos, some of the stuff you read. This is what you're going to need, though. You are going to need, get you a little cheap, um cordless drill uh thanks adam uh adam ness on here thanks man this is what you need get you a little cheap um cordless drill or go buy you a hammer uh, my battery about to go there hammer and some nails i like using screws because you make a lot of mistakes and with a drill you can unscrew that screw and do it right look at the boss here showing off so with that you guys make sure that you can get in the buck, you can get in a nest with them because you don't know it's stuff in here you need to do. Don't believe the hype on these videos. It's stuff you need to get in here to do. Get out the way. Now, I'll make sure that I can get out of here because with that locking mechanism out there, so creatures can't get in, you gotta pull this. Well, I'm a little too strong for my own good here. Now I step down. I gotta fix that locking mechanism. I would hate to be in there and still locked in there. That right there, that's the feed door. I got it attached on the door. So as soon as I open it, I can fill up. So this is what I'm talking about, y'all. It ain't gotta be that serious. I'm supposed to be collecting the eggs from out here, but I never finished this door, which I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna add a door here. So all I do is open the door like my old coop, grab the eggs from out here, and be on about my way. Right now, it's not done, so I go in the coop to grab the eggs every day. That's, that's just ridiculous. So all I wanted to show you guys is this is going to be the project, and you can come along with me. And if you're thinking about building a coop, you got questions, I can help you with any questions you have, uh, to my, the best of my ability anyway. So what I plan on doing, I plan on taking this coop. Bring it around this side. I don't know how because it's heavy as lead. And we're going to build it up from here. And all of this area is going to be the chicken, the new chicken run. All of this area. 
I really want this to look nice. So that's the plans. That's the plan. Okay. Not saying I'm going to be able to pull it off, but we're going to do the best we can do. But I'm going to take you guys along with me and show you everything with this chicken coop because this is my winter project. All of the land and all of the all of the land and they want to be on camera. They liked it. All of the land, the trees, and the garden. I'm going to put it on the back burner. I'm going to be doing videos on everything, but right now, this is my main concern because it's it's an eyesore right now to me. Okay, it's an eyesore. It's not cool. I let it go. I didn't have the time. I, I'm going to have to make time for this project to be finished. So, uh, just letting you guys know, I just could I just couldn't stop that video this morning like that. Just sipping coffee and talking about my plans for a chicken coop. I just I needed to show you guys what we plan on getting into, okay? Some do's and some don'ts. So be looking out for more of these videos because I am literally gonna start, as soon as I'm done with this den in here, I'm starting on my chicken coop. And this is a major project to me. So uh, hang out with me and keep on watching. All right, I ain't gonna keep holding y'all. I done been on the thing over an hour already earlier. So Lev Farmer 73, I love you guys. Wait, 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 before I go, let me see. I had some questions earlier. Let me see if I can answer them. Okay, had some questions. It might be dumb. Ain't no questions dumb to me. But whatever. <laughs> Do the eggs taste the same as store bought? Um they pretty much do. I'ma say this, and I'm I'm just being realistic with you. The the uh the eggs, they're more rich when they when they when you feed they feed out of the yard and feed on the land, the eggs are more rich and uh they seem to work in recipes better. Um it's a big it's a big difference on how they when you crack a fresh egg, it's a big difference on the way the egg looks and how it performs in your recipe and how it tastes scramble it's it's like not major apples and orange difference but uh right adam ness said it's more yellow almost orange yes some of them is deep orange and it tastes tons better it does but everybody the reason i'm saying some people think it's going to taste like a t-bone steak and no, it's going to taste like an egg, but it's going to it's going to be delicious. It's something you have to um it's something you have to taste and experience. Um thanks Supreme, thanks man. Appreciate you. It's really a big it's a big difference, but I'm not going to tell you oh, it's going to it's going to get you addicted to eggs or something. It is much better tasting of an egg it's kind of like if you get an off brand of something and you're like yeah this tastes like cream cheese it tastes, i can deal with that but if you get that that name brand that high quality you like damn that's what we that's the cream cheese we need in this this recipe uh uh what's going on supreme family garden that's the difference it's a it's a big difference in taste but i'm not going to tell you it's going to throw you you know throw you back like oh my god but it's I prefer fresh eggs out of my coop over anything that's bought in the store. So definitely, if you're thinking about um, trying a chicken coop, it's worth it. I want chickens. I want to, wait a minute. Let me see. No problem. I, 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 if you got any more questions, I got your back. Because I'm going to sit here for a second while I'm out here. Before I get off of this thing, check and see if I got any more questions. Okay, I don't got no gun on me or nothing. I had a check. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want chickens. I, I get me a... Oh, when I get me a house of my own. Yeah, yeah, I would say that. I mean, people got, people got cats and they got dogs and stuff like that. You know, I got chickens. So, it's the same pretty much it's just you don't have to baby them 
you don't have to baby them so much. You just kind of let them do their thing. You know, you make them a little space and you let them do their thing and they give back every day. They give you breakfast and dinner if you want it. So I used to name them, but <laughs> I used to name all of my chickens and let my kids name them. But I used to have a problem with that when it's time to, you know, they got to go. So it was harder to eat things with a name on it. So I stopped doing that. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you name something, it's, it's special. I name all of my trees. And I do that on purpose because it, it has a meaning. And I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something about that. I was going to, I actually did a video on it and I haven't aired it. So I'm going to just say a little piece of it right now. I name all my trees for a reason. If it's special enough to me, uh, if it's special enough to me, I name it. And the reason why I name it, because it seems like when you name something like a person, even that worker, some goofy dude at work you can't stand, Crazy Willie, you named him. You gave him a name. You gave him a nickname. That means he has some significance in your life, whether it's negative or positive, right? To me, this is how I think. When I name something, I give you some kind of goofy nickname or I name you for something honorable, I, that means I'm not going to forget you. Because if I don't care about you and I really don't really like you, I won't even, I'll call you dude for, for the rest of my life. It's dudes that people at my job. I say, hey, what's up, man? I don't know your name. I see you every day. I've been working with you for over three years. I don't know you or care for you enough to even care what your name is. Now, if I try to remember your name, I like you. If, if, if I recognize, I like you. If I recognize you, I like you. That's just me. When I give you a name or I remember your name, it means something in my life. Even if I give you a negative name, believe it or not, I can't stand old crusty, dusty Dan. He has some significant in my life, even if it's negative. But if I don't even remember your name or could care less about what you look like. So I don't name my chickens anymore because I know pretty much where they're going to end up. I name my trees because I, they're part of my family and part of my life. And that's where they go on my land. All of my trees have a name. And when I lose one, it's serious to me. If I don't name a tree, if y'all don't, y'all see me walk past some of these trees in my yard, I'm always kind of like, yeah, here's my banana tree. It's a banana tree. I like them. But if they wash away, you see what I'm saying? Now, if I come over here, this is Bonita. This is little Claudio. This is Big Al. You hearing me saying that stuff? I worry about the trees out here. <laughs> so, anyway, this chicken video, I didn't want it to go on this long, you guys. I just wanted to answer a couple of questions. Okay, one more. Adam Ness said, um, <clears throat> does it take three years for them to go or longer? As far as the chickens, um, that is like production. If you're talking about the chickens, they say that about production birds. Like they only let them hang around for three years because after the three-year mark with, with some of them, after the three-year mark, they don't tend to produce as many eggs and that ends up, you know, not being profitable for the company. Yeah, for the eggs. That, that that ends up not being profitable for the company so they end up getting rid of the chicken getting rid of the hen me it depends because that one of the big egg layers is uh what is that called? the, the uh, leg horn and that's usually what you eat out of the stores and everything that's the big major production bird delays the big white egg the leg horn, after three years, the leg horn kind of dies down. Most of the chickens die down. But I'm here to say, not all of them, because my uh, Rhode Island Reds, they kept laying eggs until they end up getting sold or eating one or the other, uh, or dying of natural causes. They never stopped laying eggs. And I've had a couple eggs for about four years, five years. They never stopped laying. 
So I've never experienced that. That's something, uh, you know, I got, I'm a backyard chicken guy. I'm not a production dude. So I've never had to deal with that problem at all. I'm trying to plug my phone up real quick before it cuts off because I do not, I want to answer one more question and my phone is about to do it. Sorry, you guys. I don't want to leave y'all like that. So, uh, let's do this. Then I'm out. Okay. It says, uh, yeah, for that. Right. So, three years, that's it. For production. For me, as long as, you know, I'm happy with the bird, it's still producing eggs. And uh, here's another thing, Adam. To me, if you got 12, 12 birds and they're all pumping out an egg a day, People have no, I have seven birds. You can't eat all of them eggs. You can't only got seven birds. That, that's seven eggs every day. You cannot eat that many eggs. I couldn't give them away. I couldn't sell them. I was selling them. Then I got to the point where people ain't buying them enough. We ain't eating them enough. I start giving them away as gifts. Man, you, that's why you all see me in these videos taking some of these old eggs and putting them under my tree. It's good for the tree, it's good for something. Good for the tree. You can't eat that many eggs. And when I used to have about 20 and 30 chickens at a time, oh my God, I couldn't get rid of those eggs. I couldn't sell them, I couldn't give them away. So uh, I'm not gonna tell you how many my wife bought me, but I have a refrigerator full of eggs. Exactly. You can't get rid of them. So. You know, if you don't plan on, if you have that many chickens, you better be ready to know what to do with all those eggs for the people that don't uh, raise chickens or know anything about them. Because you will have fresh eggs for every recipe you will ever need for the rest of your life with just a few chickens. And here's another myth that I wanted to address. I'm on here 27. I'm going three more three more minutes and I'm going to go. I hate doing this because I hate, I like talking. Um, here's one more myth about chickens that um, to me is false. It ain't just to me. It's, it's a doggone, it's a fact. And what that is, is each chicken, each chicken lays only one egg a day. I have proved that that is a lie. I have on videotape a chicken laying two eggs in one day. And I have several, I have witnessed it countless times, but I have it on video twice of two different chickens laying an egg twice in one day. You wouldn't believe it unless I, let me find that video and post it for you. So if you only have seven chickens and it been days that I come out there, I got seven chickens and I come outside and I got 10 eggs. What? Did a rat come in here and instead of eating the eggs, the rat laid the egg? No. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, let's see. Hi, man. I'm from North Africa. Hey, how you doing? Sunshine and chickens. All right. So that is the truth. It's well, all the way from Africa. Are you here in the States or are you watching me from Africa? I would love to know that. Because I get people from all around the world uh, never had nobody from the motherland uh, chime in. That would be wonderful. But, yes, I'm telling you. So chickens sometimes lay more than one egg a day. So don't let that freak you out. Sometimes you get an egg with a double yolk, with basically two eggs in one egg, and the egg is that big, triple yolks. I've had it all. So, you guys, I'm going to cut this off. Um, I'm going to cut this off now. But please be looking out for this video. And I'm going to keep naming it Chicken Coop Project. Because I am going to let you see how I pull this off. I built that coop out there. And I took video footage. I got pictures. And I don't know where the videos are. I still have the pictures. I don't know where the videos are because I was piecing it together when I built it because I wanted to share with you guys and now I can't so it's time for me to do it again this time now that we got the live feature I'm going to show you me do it step by step live and how I do it and what I do and how much I'm going to show you how much it's going to cost because 
That's something people always leave out. You know, yeah, you showed me how to do it. How much did it run you? Where you are. I know I can't tell you exactly what it's going to cost you in your area, but you will have some general idea of what it's going to cost for you to do the exact same thing I'm trying to do. Okay? So that's all, you guys. I want to hold y'all up. I had y'all earlier today. Now it's time for me to go get some work done. I can take these busted shoes off. My yard dogs. I shouldn't even walk in the house. I've been in the chicken coop. So thank you, guys. I love you. Lead Farmer 73, please continue to watch this project because this one, this one is, is near and dear to me because I'm telling you something, I love my chickens. I love everything about them. I love what they can do for me. So with that being said, maybe you want to get into chickens too. So you might want to hang out and, and, and watch me do this. All right. Thank you guys. Lead Farmer 73, have a wonderful, wonderful morning. Have a beautiful day. I am out and I need to take, you take it easy too, lap, ladder baps, ladder baps. I always mess that name up. Uh, you take it easy too. I'm about to go up here and finish putting down this tile floor before Lady Led comes back into town because I want it to be done for her when she get back. Oh, you finished the floor before the holidays. Now we can put our furniture back up. Oh, honey, you're so sweet. I got to do my husband thing now, okay? So, thank y'all. Love you. Leia Farmer 73, and I'm out. In a second.